What's up soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen. I've got seven episodes of Grace to catch up on, so I got a rush, okay? Listen, I visited my sister well briefly because of the COVID. We have regulations and all that. You can't visit people and all them kind of thing over the holidays there. And she had one of my favorite chicken recipes. You know, this takes me back to when I was a kid on the islands. Chinese restaurants would serve this up. And it is a favorite across the island. Off Trinidad and Tobago. Let's get clear. I ain't nobody other places. But anyhow, today we're doing something very simple. But no lacking in flavor. A Chinese style soy fried chicken. Back to the whole Grays thing. <laughs> you really think I'm going to watch that nonsense? Yeah, the first thing we've got to do is sort of season and marinate chicken and it is a bit of a process I would say nothing less than four hours um, when my sister told me how to do it she said she does it overnight but in my case here I might want to eat later so I'm doing it in four hours chicken has been prepped five legs with the thigh and back attached um, dark meat seems to work the best leg meat uh, some cuts a couple cuts just to make sure that marinade perine uh, penetrates through everything first thing first I've got here my soy sauce and what she recommended is mushroom flavored. Listen to me, mushroom flavored soy sauce. I like this, not something she told me to use. She doesn't do this step, but I want some ginger in there. I love ginger. Not too much, but half a teaspoon of ginger in there. Now do keep in mind that's gonna give it a peppery note. And the final sort of thing in this marinade I have some Chinese spice, spice powder that I made and you don't want to go too heavy. Full list of ingredients will be listed down below. And you notice how simple that was. Three ingredients, that's it. All you want to do now is get in there, massage that chicken and um, then we're going to cover it up in the fridge at least four hours. And it's important, those cuts that we made, that some of the marinade works its way down in there. Wear gloves, it's going to stain your fingers, it's going to stain your hands. So I'm on Chris at promoting the stainage. Because if you just got your nails there, the next thing you're blaming me, and you're like, Yes! Your old man nail job. Is that a thing? Is it called a nail job? What is it called again? <laughs> manicure? Alright, wait for that. Uncle Chris come in to pay for the manicure for you. Yep, there we go. Already. Lid on into the fridge and let it just relax up inside there all right i've got my vegetable oil and if you want to use peanut oil you can certainly use peanut oil canola oil you can do whatever it is you like using to fry chicken it's pretty basic so i took it out tip number one get something with high size you know i know i'm making chinese style fried chicken but there's no reason to use a wok well, the only reason why i'm using a wok because of the high sides it prevents that splatter and cleaning of the stove after so tip number one something with high sides number two now keep in mind when you put in the oil you must leave room for when the chicken goes in there you don't want potential fire happening tip number two take the chicken out off the fridge a good hour or so so it comes up to room temperature that's going to give you for even frying now, the next step we got to do, and the oil is coming up to temperature, you want it anywhere between 300 and 325 degrees. What I like doing at this point now is taking the chicken onto paper towels, and you want to make sure it's nice and dry. Trying to brush off the ginger on there. The ginger already did its job. We ain't trying to allow it to work overtime because we can't afford overtime salary, so... Get rid of that ginger at this point here. But you really want to get that paper towel and get it nice and dry. You can also air dry it too, eh? But that is exactly what we're looking for. So we're just waiting for the temperature to come up on the oil now. The oil is nice and hot now. So being very careful, very gentle, put your pieces of chicken in there. And I'm trying my best not to crawl the pan. Because 
then the chicken is going to steam and the whole idea is to fry it. So two pieces at a time, I can risk three pieces if they're a bit smaller. Because I believe the other three pieces there, they're relatively small. So the other batch will be three pieces. Been going now for about 17 minutes. So the smaller piece of chicken, I kept flipping it. Beautiful color on it. I'm just going to shake off the excess oil. And I have a wire rack set up here on a, on a baking tray. This one is a bit bigger. So I'm going to give it two more minutes. So 20 minutes in total for the bigger piece. And just allow it to drain. And then I'll put in the second batch of chicken in there. The last batch is in there. It's almost ready to come out. So let's recap what we did. Very simple marinade. We trimmed off most of all of the fat and most of the excess skin. We marinated it in the fridge four hours. We took it out an hour to come back to room temperature. We pat it dry and then into the hot oil 300, 325 degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes. And we didn't crowd the pan. So, those are the tips there. All you want to do now is fish these guys out. Now, here's the thing it looks dark. It isn't burnt. Trust me on that one. That's just the color you get from the soy sauce. Because remember it marinated in that soy sauce. And speaking about soy sauce, I guess one of the tips I, I must share with you and I must impress on you. Get that mushroom flavored soy sauce. All you would do now, allow it to cool and then chop it up into small pieces. Just as you would get in the restaurants in Trinidad. And you know, I saw it in Jamaica as well too. I've never been to Guyana, but I'm sure they have a version of this there as well. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Chicken, marinated in soy sauce. So soy sauce fried chicken. This here is part of my childhood. I remember going with my dad every Saturday. Him, my brother and I, we would go see Kung Fu movies. And after we were on Mokarapo Street in San Fernando, this would be part of it, you know, some fried rice, some chow mein. And back then the chow mein was made with cabbage. I remember doing that cabbage chow mein, man. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Chop it up, yo, enjoy a little soy sauce, a little ketchup, a little, mmm. You got to have pepper sauce too, all right? Sort all yourself out.